students, I'm going to show you really quick how to use the different Zoom tools that are in Zoom for you. So when you're in your meeting, um, you want to keep yourself muted unless it's your turn to talk. So to unmute, you just click, and now you're unmuted. And to start your video, which you should keep your video started, you just click the Start Video button right there. If you need to stop your video, if the teacher asks you to stop it, you can stop your video right there. Okay, now let's say oh, you realize one of your friends is, isn't in the meeting and they're supposed to be there. You can invite them and pick the friend and invite them. Or you can copy the invitation right here or the website and send that to anybody you want. Now you probably won't need to use that, but just in case it's good to know. I could invite Miss Amy if I click on her name right here. Okay, um, now if you want to share, a lot of times your teacher will ask you to share your content with them, share your screen. This is how you do that. So you're not able to share right now because I'm sharing, but um, if, it's, if you're asked to share your screen, you click right here on that share button. It's green, it's a square, and it has an arrow. Um, and then it'll give you some options. You can either share um, part of your screen, you can share just one of your, um, you can share the whole desktop, or you can share parts of the, the different web pages you're on. But the best thing to do is share your whole desk, desktop. Whenever you're taking a test or a final, you'll need to, to share your whole desktop. Okay, now participants is going to let you use that raise hand button. That way the host will know that you have a question. So if you raise your hand, wait to be called on, put your hand down if you, if you got your question answered already. Um, and there's some more button buttons in there. Okay. Also, see how I'm sharing this picture? Let's say your teacher asks you to write um, or circle the word opinion. How about that? So I'm, the teacher wants you to circle something. Wait a minute. How do I circle? Let me show you. Up here at the top where it says you are viewing Rachel DeSena's screen, there's another a black button that says view options. And you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, or you can annotate. So that annotate button lets you actually draw on the screen. So this is only to be used if your teacher asks you to use it. You may not draw on the screen or annotate while the teacher's teaching if it's distracting. Okay, but uh, let's say the teacher wants you to um, circle the word opinion. Okay, I can change my color. I want a red and I can circle the word opinion. Um, or let's say your teacher says put an arrow um, where you would put the example. Okay, this says example right here, so I'm going to put an arrow. And look, it says my name on the arrow. I don't know if you can see that, but that way my teacher knows that I'm the one that put the arrow there. And you can delete what you've drawn. Um, you can undo it. You can write text. So my opinion is... You can do text or you can just go back to your mouse. If you want to erase it, you can erase it. So play around with those tools um, on your own if you can, but make sure you only use them if the teacher asks you to. And the chat is another helpful feature. Down here you'll see as a bubble and it says chat. And sometimes if let's say you have a lot of background noise and you need to stay muted, you can just talk to your teacher in the chat. So here I can say, hi everyone, and send it and now everybody sees my chat and the teacher will be able to chat back with you. Let's say I only want to talk to my teacher. I don't want everyone else to see what I'm saying. So I just put Rachel DeSena. I need help on this problem. Now I can just talk to my teacher and no one else will see what I'm saying and my teacher can chat back to me privately too. Now again, the chat is only to be used um, when the teacher, if, if it's if it's about the subject. So you shouldn't be chatting with your friends about things that are not related to what, what you're talking about in class. Don't use those tools to be distracted. Make sure you're paying attention in Zoom just like you would in a regular classroom, in a brick and mortar classroom. Okay, so I hope this was helpful to you today. 
Um, the chat feature, the share feature, the participants lets you to raise your hand, and the view options lets you annotate on the screen. Okay, thank you very much.